good tidings. Thou art welcome. Lord of all is thy dedication to sin. Thou art welcome any time. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first episode of Dark Souls Dissected, a video series dedicated to unraveling the mechanics of Dark Souls 1. Today, we'll be talking about Sin. Now, sin might be the most misunderstood mechanic in the game, aside from grave lording, perhaps. Uh, I think a lot of players will have a general understanding of what's going on. For example, they might have heard that you can get Sin by killing other players in PvP, by attacking NPCs, or by betraying covenants. Why would a blade of the Dark Moon trespass upon the Great Lord's tomb? And that there's a covenant of players, known as the Dark Moons, that can target sinners for invasions. And additionally, there's an NPC named Oswald who can absolve you of your sins. The problem is, while everything I just said is true, sort of, uh, you'd pretty much have to put an asterisk by each and every little thing I just said, uh, because without further clarification, that's actually pretty misleading. Now the single most important thing to take away from this video is that there's actually two different kinds of sin. There's PvP sin, and there's PvE sin, and the game makes no effort to distinguish them, which is where most of the confusion comes from. So this means the way that you get each kind of sin, the way you remove them, and the sort of penalties for having them are completely separate from each other. So let's begin with PvP Sin. PvP Sin works on a point system, which is logged in the Book of the Guilty. So if you're ever wondering how much PvP Sin you have, you can just check the book. There are two ways to get it. The first way, of course, is PvP. Red Phantoms, Forest Hunters, and invaders who invade through the Dragon Sign have a chance to be indicted by a host when the host loses in PvP. If the host opts to use an indictment, that invader will have their PvP Sin increased by one point. Now the second way to get PvP sin is to get kicked out of a covenant. But note that I said kicked out of a covenant. It's not the same thing as simply leaving one covenant for another. Uh, so I'll save the mechanics of covenant betrayals for a future video, but the short version is that if you do something like attack Alvina while you're a member of the Forest Hunter Covenant, that'll get you a point of PvP sin, just the same as if you've been indicted. So now that you know the causes for PvP sin, how do you get rid of it? Uh, well, actually, the only way to do that is to die to a Dark Moon Invader. Every time this happens, your score is reduced by 1, and once it goes back down to 0 and you're removed from the Book of the Guilty, uh, the Blue Eye Orb Invasions will no longer target you. So you might be wondering, what about Oswald? Can't you just pay him to remove your sins? And the answer to that is no, not really. Um, every time Oswald talks about sin, he's actually referring to the other kind of sin. Uh, so if you're wondering about how to manage your PvP sin, just ignore Oswald. He doesn't help with that. A quick aside, when you're invaded by a Dark Moon, you don't actually have to die at their hands to lose your point of PvP sin. Uh, the game is only checking if one is present in your world at the moment of your death. So let's say you accidentally fall off a cliff while the Dark Moon is elsewhere in the level. Your PvP sin will still be reduced by a single point. So remember, the only point of PvP Sin is that it acts as a gateway for Dark Moons invading through the Blue Eye Orb. Uh, if you don't mind the potential for invasions, or you feel comfortable knowing how to avoid them altogether, then there's no downside to having it. You know, if anything, climbing higher in the Book of the Guilty is a good thing, uh, it helps with the potential for multiplayer activity, and uh, it can superficially make you feel like a badass. So what about the other kind of Sin, PvE Sin? Well, it's not counted or tallied in any way, it's actually just a sort of on or off switch. Uh, you either have it or you don't, and you get it by angering NPCs. So basically, if you accidentally aggro one NPC, or if you go on a killing spree murdering every NPC across Lorgen, there's no difference as far as PvE sin is concerned. You either have it, or you don't. So all it really is is a flag that lets you pay Oswald for absolution. Once PvE sin is in the on position, he'll accept payment. So that's pretty much it. Having PvE Sin doesn't do anything. There's no negative repercussions for having it. Uh, of course, paying for absolution is important if you want to de aggro an NPC, but otherwise, there's no point in paying for it. 
Now, last but not least, we should talk about Dark Anna Orlando. Dark Anna Orlando sort of has its own thing going on, blurring the lines a bit. Earlier I said that hosts have to have PvP sin in order to be targeted by Dark Moons, but again, that's specific to the Blue Eye Orb. In Dark Anna Orlando, a host doesn't actually have to have any PvP sin to be invaded by Dark Moons. If you're a host in Dark Anna Orlando, having plunged it into darkness is sufficient for being invaded by Dark Moons through the Dark Moon Ring. Otherwise, though, there's no negative repercussions for having done this. It doesn't open you up to Dark Moon invasions elsewhere in the game. Making Anna Orlando dark, however, will permanently trip your PvE flag to the on position. So this is where things get a little bit weird. Uh, if you go to Oswald trying to clear it, he'll still let you pay for it, uh, only for that to automatically come back. But it's not like that matters anyways, because like I said, everything related to Dark Anna Orlando is specific to Dark Anna Orlando, and it won't affect anything else in the game. Well, so that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said earlier, I'll make a future video about the specifics of Covenant Betrayals, because I think some people will have questions about that. Um, but apart from that, this is really everything there is to know about Sin. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was informative, and uh, until next time... It is only human to commit a sin. Ha 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 